Hey, it's Manza Day. Manza. <laughs> yeah. We got another one, baby. <laughs> What's up, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And thanks for stopping by. Hey, today we are back in my garage for another Manza video. It's like yeah. deja vu. I know. Right? Like. <laughs> we have been blessed with another Monza and, and if you watched any of our videos before, you must be thinking like, what else is there to, we, what else is there to give us? We have, a, we have a chrome in 26, we have yep. a white in 26, and this one is our first 24. For shop with, guys like me, bro. With mag wheels. Right? We were like Skyways. We were we were talking about this. We was. We and had we had manifest them. And look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so shout out to Thomas and the gang at uh Monza BMX. Thank you very much. Um super nice guys, super and very generous um to send us another Monza to kind of like just see how the 24 stacks up. Uh, versus the 26 and then you know for for guys like us um, Maybe guys like you you guys might be older coming back into BMX like how does a 24? Stack up is it a is it a bike that should fit a certain height a certain weight? Whatever we're gonna try and you know take a look at the 24 and kind of you know see how you know what we think about it It's actually our very first 24 very first. Have you ever even ridden a 24 before? Your electric bike. The electric bike, yeah. I have a Zoos 24. Um, and I guess that is the first 24. I forgot that that was a 24. Mm -hmm. But I, we've never, I've never had like a 24 inch cruiser yeah. before. This is the real deal, OG. Because I want to say like when we were going, when we were racing, there wasn't cruiser. There wasn't, I mean, there were people racing cruiser class, but not, yeah. not here on the island. No. Right? It was more like if we went to like Maybe a big a race on Oahu, yeah. they might have had some guys racing yeah. cruisers and 24 might have probably been the biggest one back yeah. then. I don't remember those guys ever having 26. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, even, I don't even know if 26 was even there. I, I think, think so, maybe just a 24. I, yeah, most, to my knowledge, was 24 is considered the cruiser yeah. class. And so I've never ridden just a regular bicycle 24. Um, so this is going to be fun. So we're going to go and, you know, open up this, this box, uh, put it together. We're going to show you it's a very easy, easy build to do. Um, it comes mostly assembled already. And Pretty then all much. you got to do is just put together a couple of stuff. And then, you know, I think if you're, if you're proficient with the wrench, you could probably do this in like 15 minutes. The crescent wrench. <laughs> yeah. Like this hey, guy. Don't. Don't knock the crescent wrench, man. That was the only wrench we had back in the day. Bro, we're going to put this thing together with only crescent wrench. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. That, nah, that, just might, joking. that, that might happen. No. But anyway, stay tuned. We're going we're gonna to put this thing together and show you just how easy it is to, to you know, put together a Monza BMX bike. All right, here we go. Here so, we go. Ordering, the, ordering it from Monza comes in a standard bicycle box. Yep. And crack that thing open. And here is what I really, really like with Chacum. Monzas. Look how nice that they pack. Bro, this thing. again, they right? pack them in this foam thing. Hey, we should recycle this, huh? Because you could probably use that to like when you know when you need to pack up a, a bike, right? Yeah. But yeah, look how nice everything is. I mean, they've done a really, really good job in. You know, just packing this thing so that it does not get damaged this when is it ships. Unreal. Yeah. Look at that. Monza! <laughs> and now the Monzas do come with pad sets. Pad set. Look, you got pedals. That's the box for pedals. Bra. Right. We gonna we I gonna know everything by heart pretty soon. <laughs> Look at I that. I know we've been lucky, yeah. Yeah. Good job, Kevin. Very lucky. You know, you're an ambassador is what I have those guys. <laughs> oh, we get some puka puka over there. Oh, from the front axle. Ah. All right, but as you can see. Pretty much. This is how your bike gonna come to you. Like this. Yep. 
Yeah. So again, everything, look how everything is just, look, every single piece is just covered. Yeah. You know? Everything. It, everything. Look, yeah, even the cranks. They guarantee awesome. you're not going to scratch your bike. That's yeah. for sure. I mean, man, good job. Yeah. Look at that. And then inside the box, you still got things like the seat and the seat post. You got your uh, chain guard, which we're not going to use. <laughs> now, we're putting them on this bike, guarantee. Like. Uh, and you know, if you watch any of my other videos, uh, reflectors, and well, you're not going to see reflectors on this bike, but those would be gone. Safety first, <laughs> boys and girls. Safety first. Safety all right. first. We're gonna we're gonna take off all the um, wrapping and then put this up on the stand. All right. So we got the bike up on the stand, and I think we're gonna put the wheel on first. Are those Ooh. actual Skyways or are these sort of like a re? No. Oh, it, well, it says tough. What does that say? It says tough wheel, twenty four inch. Is this is a, a real deal. Is that a Skyway? Yeah. It even says it on the box. Nice. Where the logo stay? Okay. Because, you know, Asa, gotta be the kind, hoy. <laughs> shame, shame, eh? You know, shame, shame. How is this? Is this loose? Uh, to fit? Can it fit? Can, I think. Yeah. Okay, all right. And then here is the. Where? is my wrench. Oh yeah, it has that, kind of like that safety spacer. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can let go. You ever had um, a set of Skyways on any of your bikes? Nope. Me neither. I couldn't afford Hoy. You know what? Us poor guys. And we no one really ever put like Skyways on like a a race bike too much, yeah? No, because I mean I don't know, we was trying to go for um light. Light. Right. I always wanted like pro class wheels on mine. But now that I see these things, it's like, wow, you know? Yeah. Kind of makes you want to go ride half pipe or something. <laughs> you know? Freestyle action. Eddie Fiola. Eddie Fiola. <laughs> Eddie Fiola, Mike Dominguez. Always admired those guys. Oh, I never bring the torque wrench. Oh, that's right. Oh. For my boy, Jimmy. Jimmy, sorry, buddy. Okay. All right. Then. Yeah. Wow, look nice already, this thing. You know, it's beautiful then, Hawaii. If we can get we this got the thing. bars. Comes with some nice chrome bars. He had sourced out some really nice parts for his yeah. bikes. So this thing, you like them that way or you like me flip them the other way? Yeah, I'll go flip them how we, how we do, did it before. So the Monza logo is, the bike comes with the logo, what I think is upside down. I like when I'm when I'm riding it. I like the the logo to face me, the way that it's up. So, oh, it's like pouring outside. I know. Yeah, it is. Jeez, all of a sudden, all it that was, rain just came. It was out. beautiful sunny day, and now it's raining. And my wife just went for a run, <laughs> and now she stays. She's soaking gonna wet. be soaking wet. And my daughter was gonna go play pickleball. Nope. Not even. It's not gonna happen. 
But look at this, the chrome on this stem. I mean, that thing is shiny. The chrome on the, on the Monza is nice. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, the triple plated chrome like you would see back in a day. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's, it's not as shiny as triple plated, but it's still really nice. You know what, Kev? My personal opinion, who get the best chrome I've seen so mm -hmm. far is the uh, Supercross. The Supercross does have some really, oh, really nice chrome. Yeah. That, no one the way the thing cost that much. Because that's the way, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that, that thing is like crazy, 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 crazy. How thick that chrome plating is. Yeah. And they reached out, you know, on the video. Oh, did they? They, they said that. They're going to send us on. <laughs> You hey, can send us another you one because the other one had a ding in it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they apologized. They said, sorry that we had such a, a, a tough time kind of getting that, um, the fork on, you know, but part of it too is the night bike stem is so precise, you know, there's really no like wiggle room in that, in that stem. Uh huh. And that's part of the reason. And part then of the reason. I think. You know, because it it did have to be, um, you know, welded with the with the threads on the inside. So I kind of was right then. I think so because even the I want to say even the triple plating on the chrome uh -huh. has to do something too. Oh it yeah. It was so nice. Well, you know, when you when you plate them, you adding material to the original and so the you know it gets it gets thicker yeah the tolerances get tighter and you know when you had when you had designed them all of a sudden when you chrome them it's like wow looking feet now yeah <laughs> you know yeah so yeah so for the old school guys if you look at this bike and you look at the geometry and you 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 might be asking yourself, hey, I kind of saw something similar back in the day. And if you're thinking of a Kuohara, I think you're right. Um, this bike does kind of resemble like um, the Kuohara. And in fact, it's, it's made by the same company that used to make Kuoharas, Tanj or Tong or Tongi. I don't know. It depends how you want to pronounce that. But yeah. that is the same company oh yeah? yeah those guys used to produce that bike they produced kuharas yeah oh wow so when thomas from monza approached a couple um bike companies to you know um as potential builders of their of their new bike uh-huh um these guys were, were one of the ones that said yes we'll do it and he was stoked because those are the guys that made the old school kuharas hey i know who we can ask our et friend our et friend Tell our ET friend, how you Rob. pronounce this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Robert, <laughs> is that? Mr. Cardozo. Is that Tonj? How you pronounce Tang? that? Tang? Tongi? Tang. I don't know. Sean Tongi from, Sean. in Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our, our, our buddy Sean from Rad BMX Builds, um, he pronounces it Tongi. But yeah, Tongi does sound like it's like uh, somebody's Samoan, you know? <laughs> <laughs> who knows we have no idea right so i don't know robert maybe you know because you used to you know work a lot with the kuaharas back in the day yeah gotta say though again because everything was packaged so well like just the stickers came out flawless in the first monza that they sent us the stickers got all kind of messed up from stuff in the box and there wasn't anything really protecting it and now like they've solved that problem. So, you know, nice job to, you know, everybody at Monza for, for packing a bike that can handle shipping. Right. Wherever you need it to go, you know. But yeah, I don't think we've ever seen a bike that's been that, that's packed that well straight from like a factory, right? No, I haven't. But yeah, so you got 
Tanj, Tongi, whatever. <laughs> you got a seat post <laughs> clamp from them. We have the headset. Um, you got the, they make, of course, the forks and the frames. Um, you got a, the old school, like, you know, three piece cranks here. This is a 44 tooth in the front, 16 in the back. Um, this chain is, to me, it's kind of like a, uh, like a half, half link. <laughs> it reminds uh, me of a half link. Half link, half link. Right. But it's not a true half link, but it's really nice. Like I really like this, this chain that they we give you. We need your you. Crescent Ranch. I got to need the Crescent Ranch. I take one of these guys off. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, see, see when you tease the, the crescent. I just need tools to assemble this thing, man. And all you get is crescent wrench. Unless you get one like this, uh, they're going to fit that. I'm going to go get the crescent. <laughs> well, you know, like going to the ring. Uh, hold on. All right. So, <laughs> you know, you come to my garage. I'm not the mechanic. So I don't have quite the collection of uh, tools that Bernie has. So, um, you know, sometimes you just got to bust out the old school Crescent Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it gets the job done, man. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Bernie's giving me grief, but it, man. It does. It, you know, back in the day, that's all we had, though. Right? Yeah. I mean, you think about it. What kind of tools did we need? Like we your, needed a Crescent Ranch. Like your toolbox. Maybe a screwdriver. Some pliers, not much else though. Yeah. You know, well, Allen, Allen keys, of course. I'll adjust that later. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, look, it comes with, um, they, uh, they've also upgraded the brakes a little bit. It used to be where um, you had nicer brakes in the back and then you had some, some brakes that weren't quite that good on the front, but they've kind of, now they, they match. So that's really good. And again, this is the 24 in chrome. And the 24s, I just, I learned, only come with mags. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. This is so cool, though, that, you know, we can, we can play around with a nice bike. And, you know, like, I always wanted mags, too, when I was little. Like I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. but I couldn't afford, Yeah, you know, and Moto Mags, um, when we were kids, you never like Moto Mags, whoa, okay. care. You never like Moto Mags on your bike because that damn thing is so heavy. They were heavy. You know? Yeah. And then guys like us, we're going to make fun of you because, <laughs> you know, it's so heavy. But Yeah, after we pass you on the track. Yeah, like, right? you know. 30, 40 years later, when, you know, BMX is starting to calm cool again. And everybody wants that nostalgia. They, they want nostalgia. Right? And so, right. You, did you see that Mongoose came out? They reproduce yeah. Moto Mags? You know, I think Florante told me about yeah. that. He's like, hey, they get Moto Mags. So what's old is new again. Yeah. And yeah, and I think they pretty much sold out whatever they had. They, people were just buying them up like crazy. You know, trying to, to kind of bring back that look and that feel. And, and come on, if you have a mongoose, right? You got an old school mongoose and you've got to have Motomax. Like that's one of the things that define the mongoose. Right. You got to, man. Is having those, those Motomax. But they were heavy as heck, man. So yeah, if you were, were going to race, not, not the best ones to race with. No. You know, so yeah, we never, I never got them. Um, stuck with the alloy rims. Never went to mags. Cause we also, I mean, we dabbled in freestyle, but not. Yeah, not not full not, on. Not you know, like we weren't hardcore at all in it. Just kind of played around with it, tried to do some tricks here or there. But our our main thing was just racing. Racing and and trying to learn whatever tricks we could. But I mean, I never rode half pipe or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, we hit like big jumps in cane fields yeah right we did. yeah i mean we would launch off of those things yeah but nothing in which you know you're having to do a like a you know 180 in the air and come back down on the same ramp that you went up on right like a half pipe right but we never no i remember we've we've 
we hit like some big dirt jumps back yeah. in the day. We did, man. And you know? and the funny thing is, dude, it's right across from your work. If you remember yeah, that jump, like Puhi. Where my school is right now, there used to be what? It was all like cane fields. Yeah. And just cane roads and valleys and you know yeah i remember there was a huge ramp back there yeah hanamalo had one puhi had one yeah they were all um the side of these cliffs well kind of like cliffs mm -hmm. and we just went and turned them into like ramps yeah and then you'd like people would just you know meet up at the at the at the ramp yeah and then just jump and do stupid stuff. Yeah, and try not to get chased by the... Uh, <laughs> by the plantation workers. <laughs> yeah, because you know, it is private property. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no can bolt them up, Kev. What's up, what's up, what's up? I don't want enough meat. So, Diacomp breaks MX2s. We got the calipers in the back. And then, you know, if you've seen any of the Monza stuff, you know their colorway is this gold and, you know, orange and yellow. And so their signature is, you know, that's their, their chain ring. They got that yellow and uh, orange sticker. And yeah, that's what the bike is looking like so far. There we go. See, I knew it couldn't be that bad. He was able to get that thing on there. Yeah, because it's slack over there. There was bindage. Small kind bindage. Ugh. But again, you're looking at, look at that stem. That stem is nice. It is really nice. I mean, Chrome stem. Jeez. I mean, what kind of beers they were drinking? Because let me tell <laughs> you. They were thinking of what they were going to put on his bike. Yeah. They got some good stuff, man. They did. It was good drinks, I think. Can the Comp 3s, yeah. the, you guys remember the old school butterfly pattern? They stuck those on there. You know what's really nice? is the white one with the white mags. Oh yeah. Something about white mags, dude. I know. It's just sick. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, these ones are nice too. Like this totally matches this bike. Just gotta adjust. But there's just something about the white mags on the white bike that just, holy smokes. Okay, we just gotta adjust sets, that later. Sets that off, man. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's a seat. And for whatever reason, I don't know why the factory Shoved the sub, shoved it all there with the with the plastic on it, but <laughs> so Bernie grabs it. He's like, seriously, we're gonna put this bike together in the Crescent Ridge? That's what you said, remember? I was I was just joking. I'm not serious, uh, dude. We're gonna show you how easy this bike is to put together with just a Crescent wrench. Yeah. Uh, How's that crescent ranch working? Oh, right? bah, cherry, right? Cherry, right? Yeah. Yes. And here's a cool thing. This bike comes with, again, a bent seat post yep. or uh, laid back for that Hawaiian style, right? Yeah, so laid back. Use laid back, laid back, sorry. Or laid back. you also have a straight seat post. Again, one of the few bike companies that I know of that are going to give you both. I mean, man, yeah, that fits right in. It's pretty good. I know. I don't think there's any bike company besides Monza that does that. Do you? I, I don't know. And it's not like I buy a ton of, you know, factory bikes, but. I don't know. You get what? Three SEs. I got two. I got two SEs. Two. Oh. But again, those came, you know, already built. I didn't have to put those together, oh, so I don't right. even know that's what right. they, what they look like. Right. Yeah. When it comes in the box. Cause, cause what if Essie had sent, you know, your I, bike? Yeah, I doubt it. 
We're on bent seat pull. I doubt it. Laid back. I'm sorry. Laid, Laid back. back. Sorry, brothers. Laid back way. I know. We got some comments. Hey, you guys got to call that laid back for okay. that Hawaiian style. Laid back then. <laughs> laid back. Yeah. What size is that thing? Mm, that might be a six, I think. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely, buddy. Wow. We'll just do that. Because that looks cool right now. Yeah, it does. Just remember, when you get on this thing, don't sit on it because this thing sits loose. Yeah. Got the Monza BMX on the laid back seat posts with the Tanj or Tongi. See post clamp <laughs> in black. Okay. Wow. Let's get in there. Bra. Let's get in there. Last but not least. Now we got this box. This is like Christmas. Box o parts. Like Christmas time, Kev. So what you're gonna see are some bear trap pedals, old school bear traps. I believe they're going to be in that gold color too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Oh, look. My no favorite. Way. My favorite stuff. Hoy, ding, ding, bro. Hey, there's a bell. Hoy. <laughs> bra. Hey, get extra, extra the kind. Brake what? pads. And Skyway. What? This is for real. Wait, we're not making okay, this up, wait, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Look, you got no way. cool stops. And plus S Skyway brake pads. That's Whoa. right off the bat. Wow. We change it. Okay. Them. Yeah, we're gonna have to swap those out. Bra. That's look, they already came with brake pads. Right? They already came. Did they with come with pads. cool stops? They're no, these are diacom. Oh. So that's probably why. But to have two more sets in the box. For like, the price you pay for these, the, you know, for a bicycle like this. Wow. Yeah. The 24s are more expensive. Oh, they is, are? Yeah, they're, they're like, I want to say, I think they're 900, 895 or something. Well, like that. I mean, look at all this good stuff that came in the box. Yeah. You get two kinds of uh, C posts, you get two brake pads. These are probably what? 20 bucks. Who knows what those are, yeah? You know? This right here is like 50 bucks. <laughs> the, bra. <laughs> the bell plus this. That's right. The reflectors that we never even use. Think about and it I like this. I don't even know where you would even put reflectors on a mag wheel. You can't. You cannot. Get right here to hold it. Uh, I get, yeah, maybe you're, maybe you're right. Maybe that little tiny hole right there. But you yeah. know what? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And the and the chain guard, Kev. The chain oh, guard, bro. Heck no. That chain guard is staying right there. Bro. That, that thing's getting tossed. Did you ever, like, um, ride your bicycle with long pants and he'd get caught in the chain? <laughs> yes, I did. Me too. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so, yes. I guess we can say the chain guard has saved... Or could save our pants, right? You know, if we had them back in the day. But no, they're not. If you had chain guards, you were not cool. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're just not cool. Well, kind of like the motor mags, right? Like we were saying. Yeah. If you get motor mags and Ashtabula forks. Oh, Ashtabula. Out body. Ashtabula forks. You guys remember that? Those really like skinny blade like forks that used to come on the mongoose. Yeah, stock mongoose. Ashtabula. Ashtabula. Yeah. Was that okay. guy like a racing guy or what? You know, that guy ha was had something to do with, with, with racing. It was after somebody, I think. Yeah, because like Roger De Costa, mm -hmm. he was a, a motorcycle, motorcycle guy, a right? motocross guy. Yeah. And I never know that until I was watching the documentary. Like, I remember that I kind of knew. Um, and I don't know how I knew it, but... Roger DeCosta. Yeah, like I knew about that. I don't know why. 
Okay. I don't know if it's because, okay, remember back in the day, there was a motorcycle shop right mm-hmm. down the road here. Mm-hmm. The Yamaha one. Right? And mm-hmm. um, it was Jason's family that ran it. Remember? Um, what is his last name? Oh, I, I forget it's, already. It's, sorry, Jason, if you're watching this. But um, his family ran this motorcycle shop. And then they would, like Central Bike Shop, would put some of their stuff in their shop. Gosh, I remember but that shop too. I don't, I don't remember how I know about Roger DeCosta, but I just knew that that was some motorcycle guy. Yeah. The guy was like unreal. And his bikes, they kind of resemble the They mongoose. were like mongoose, yeah. yeah. So they had something to do with the mongoose. Like the, the same guys made the same, same bikes. Because even the stickers were same, were very similar. Mm-hmm. Right? Because the mongoose had kind of like that that um gl- not glitter but it was like that reflective pattern yeah in the back and then roger's bike had the oval circle oh and the mongoose had the circle yeah. just a regular circle right yeah that's right yeah i remember that bro i can't find the thing funny the stuff you can kind of remember huh? i know the things that come back to you right? ashtabula Ashtabula. Sounds like a um, Russian wrestler. Okay, that guy's tight. So again, oh, ooh, look, look. You can take this. Gone. Ah, this is going. I'm telling you, dude. Gone. That right there is going to save you from the ER, my friend. I want to take, oh, I want that off. Because, you know, Kawhi Motorist, they don't pay attention, hoy. Hey, at least that thing can come out. <laughs> I thought you couldn't take them out. No, that's coming out. That's coming out. Sorry. Yeah. These are coming out. Guarantee. Guarantee. Gone. Look in my hands. <laughs> Here's the rubbish. Gone. Hey, what if somebody wanted them? No. No. Too bad. <laughs> Kidding. I wonder if I could put something here instead. What if you could stick like a Monza sticker in this space? Look at that. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. I am gonna think about what we can use that for instead. Even, what if you could somehow stick some sort of a light in there? Ooh. You know? When LED when you do a, like, light. A, yeah, like do a nighttime ride and you got that. Wouldn't that be better than reflective? St- yeah, but it's not nostalgic. <laughs> but see, look, yeah, look at this. Oh my uh, god. This side. Uh, I didn't even put the pedal on already. You see, like, gotta, ripping gotta... that thing off. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> That's coming off later. For some reason. I mean, it threads on. Kind of hard for thread on. Is it straight? It's straight, or else not going not to thread on. It's just not that smooth. You know, it's just the weight of the wrench is actually helping me turn this thing. Mm. Like, I cannot... Use your fingers. Oh, you can a little bit. A little bit, but... One, I stay on the injured reserve list. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Between my bad back and Bernie's bust-up fingers from working on his truck yesterday, we are both two guys that are in sad shape. Yeah. (laughs) No more hope. Here we go. Yeah, my back went out again, and I was, we were going to go film some stuff, and this. just could not. Yeah, we wanted to film this a week ago, and just, and even today, my back is still tight. So Bernie's doing most of the stuff, but he does most of the stuff anyway. Yeah, but people <laughs> like watching you too, right? you know? All right, this chain. That chain, we're going to do them right super now. Super tight. So that we definitely have to loosen up a bit. So we're going to pop that thing off. Already, what kind of upgrades am I th- uh, would you put on here first? Yeah, it's, you know what? That's like factory <laughs> tight. Not fair. That thing is super Somebody had super their tight. impact wrench at the factory, like full blast. Yeah. 
this no thing is torque like... specs on that one. Huh? Oof. <laughs> what kind of stuff would you do to this bike though? Me? Yeah. I think chain tensioners would be good. Yeah. Maybe some D's nuts. Yeah. Automatic. Um, I mean, honestly, there's not a lot that you need to really change no. on this bike. This, I mean, I think more if it's, if you just want to personalize it, Yeah. you know, yeah. colorways and stuff. Yeah. And like this 44 is a, it's, this is a big sprocket in the front. But you got to give is. the guys like credit though, because, well, our stance, they're falling down. Uh oh. You know, these, these guys, they, they went all for the nostalgic, nostalgic mm -hmm. uh, look and they get them point on. Yeah. So, you know, props to those guys. No, 100%, like this is a bike that definitely brings you back in time. Yeah, I mean, they, they hit the nail on the head. Big sprocket, 16 teeth, you know, right. bear trap bear pedals. Bear trap pedals, laid back seat post. And you know what, I, I'm sorry, cause I'm old school, chrome frame. Chrome. Chrome frame and fork. There's just something about chrome, right? You know? Ah, <sighs> well, there it is. Now we just gotta adjust them. But yeah, what do you guys think? That is the Monzen 24. Oh, that's a nice bike. With mag, mag wheels. Skyway mag Skyway wheels. Skyway mag wheels, Kenda tires, Comp 3 tires. You got a front brake. Like, Dia Comp. You like check come over here, legit. You got the nice stem. Here. Skyway, black. Yep. No lie, guys. Yep. It's legit. So you're going to swap out the pads? You we like should do that. Yeah, let's swap them out, man. Might as well. Since they gave us the legit ones. I know, man. Right? Is one of them front and one of them back? I don't know. Or do you do this in the back caliper and then this one maybe in the front? Caliper, what does this say? Exclusive rim friendly, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think I'd probably put this in the back, uh, right? That looks like more like the traditional, Yeah. you know. Hmm. But it says Skyway, Skyway brake pads. I know. Wow. So. Hmm. Yeah, so let's put those suckers on, man. Wow. Because these are just dia comps right here. Don't get me wrong. Even that company is solid. Here you go. I mean, it's affordable. Yeah, if you, if you are kind of watching this video, you're, you're an older guy like us in your 50s, you grew up around BMX bikes, and you are you know, looking at, you know, getting back into it again, you might have been looking at some SE bikes. Give Monza a look. And, and, and again, we're not just saying this just because they gave us the bike. Like, this is our third one now that we've seen. And the, the parts have been solid. Yeah. If you are just going to, you know, get started in it, this is a really good complete bike that can help you get back into it, you know. And then once you pick one up, you can kind of decide, hey, do I want to, you know, change some stuff? Do I want to keep it the same? Um, you have that freedom to do that. But as a complete bike, this thing is solid yeah. out of the box, man. I mean, if, if you just want to get yourself a bike and later you personalize it. Yeah. I mean, you can ride this thing for a long time. And I think what we'll do is, you know, we'll do a video on the three Monzas that we have. You can kind of see the, the, the first Monza that I have is completely customized. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many, I don't even know how much <laughs> stock parts are on it. No. Except, I think the frame and fork and stem. Yeah? On that yeah. first, right? Yeah, pretty much. Because I pretty much changed every single thing on that on that Monza just to customize it. Yeah. You know, not so much that I was just not happy with it. It was just you wanted I to... wanted a different colorway, right? I'm not a huge fan of the gold. I gotta say, I'm not that's not my first color choice. I love blue. You can kinda see, look my watch, blue. Um that's my favorite color. And so uh when I when I saw that Monza 
um, automatically I was already thinking, what can I do to make this a blue bike instead, mm -hmm. you know? And um, totally customize that bike. Um, I think frame fork, stem are the only things that are original yeah i think maybe the headset the headset might still be no did we do anything with the headset we no i don't think so huh? i don't remember no. the headset changing the headset at all no which i i can't even remember which bike remember we changed either. the headset on the se the se we on the white one the arctic ripper we did the bullseye headset okay there's a video for that if you want to see that install um we did a video on that i'll put that up in the corner yeah. Wow. But yeah, this is just to get, get back into BMX again as an old fart. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these, this is a really, really good bike to kind of do that. It is. I mean. And I'm re I really want to ride this 24 just to see like the size difference. You me know, how too. does it feel? Because there are some guys. Okay, so if you buy a Monza, go to Facebook and join their their Facebook group, Monza owners. You have guys on there that are like six feet four and they're riding a 24, and they love it. Yeah. And they swear by it. And here am I thinking like, I don't even know if I could ride a 26 honestly but I've come to really like the 26. So I'm really interested to see how this 24 is gonna be. He go, eh? 26. Yeah, 26 is, is, it's a great size. I mean, even me, I was like, oh, I don't know about this, but. I know you wanted to buy a 24 yourself. Yeah, it all. What did we drop? We dropped the washer someplace. Oh, well, we'll find well, it. Well, let's pause this and look. So we found the spacer, but realized and got a little confused there because the sticker, the printed Skyway is upside down, yeah. but that is the correct direction of the pad. But for whatever reason, I guess, I don't know if Skyway is just being lazy and only wanting to print it in one, in one spot for every pad, even if it's the other side. Yeah. That side's going to be upside down, but oh well. Dude, I'm kind of, I'm surprised at how pumped these tires are. Right? You know, got to put this air. This one is solid. Like, yeah. on the white one, we had to do some, put some air in it. But these guys are like. Maybe that one was sitting in inventory know. for some time. Who knows? And this one, they just said like, hey, we got to send Kevin this bike. You know, can you, can you rush that That thing, thing was. Yeah, normally they don't come fully pumped, you know. There's some air in it, but not right. Not as as hard as this is. Kind of taking a look at the the rear dropouts here. Mm -hmm. Really thick, closed, so you don't have any. Um, water going in there corroding that i mean yeah the tubing itself not super this is not a really thick tube as far as like diameter i mean it's 4130 chromoly but kind of a smaller diameter tube yeah i mean i i grab this thing it's to me, it, it's feels, light, huh? it feels super light. I think it's only about 20, it's a shade under 27 pounds. Wow. Okay. Now we got to adjust this part now. This is always the fun part. I know, brakes, huh? Yeah. What? This thing's... Is that still tight again? Oh, no, that's, not, that's better than before. Better than how it was, yeah? Yeah. Still tight though? Not super tight. Cause I just said loosen a little bit. Wait, hold on. And then we definitely gotta adjust. They come 
when you get it in the box, the, the um, brake levers are pointed down for um, the packing and to make sure that nothing kind of like, it's just packed up nicer this way in the box so that the, you know, nothing happens to the levers. So you're gonna have to like lift these up. This so is that bike That's rocket it. approved? Rocket? <laughs> Monza? You approve of that Monza bike rocket? Uh, all you care about <laughs> is when we going walking. <laughs> all right, now we're trying to get, swapping out the front pads for the extra set that was in the box. I wonder, should I copy that? Or should I put the skinny one down there? I like doing the skinny, just cause it, I think it gives you more room, yeah? Yeah. I know Brian at Tuesday's turn, you know, suggested that in one of the other videos to, you know, swap out the spacers. If you're, if you're needing more room, to play with, you know, swap out the spacers, put the skinnier ones on the inside versus the thicker ones that can go on the outside. And that gives you a little bit more play um, with your brake pads. I think I've done that with every single, mm -hmm. every single one. It's just nicer to have that, that freedom, you know? Did I do that on the back part? I don't remember. I just said slap. I don't know if you did that on the back. It doesn't look like it because it looks like that's um, that's definitely thicker in the back. Mm. But I think you're fine just because this Get thing had this thing had plenty of room. Okay. And then even then, when you when you you know do this, look, you got a lot of play in that in that brake. So we're gonna definitely have to make some adjustments here. So we're not done, but almost, That's we're so, getting there. That thing stay in the way for this. <laughs> oh, you mean the quick release? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if we, we, we might be stuck using the other one. Cause like, how would you? Oh, yeah, 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 I see. To, to, to engage the quick release, you need space, and look how tight that is. There's nothing there. Yeah. You're right. Oh, well. Man. We try. Okay, well, back to the stock then. All right, we have to put the stock pads back on because uh, the other pads that came with the bike, we could not get it because of the quick release was in the way. So just note for all of you guys that might be buying this bike. We can save you that trouble, it just didn't fit. And then now we're going to, the next thing we're gonna do is kind of get these um, brake levers a little bit higher. And then definitely when we drop this bike on the ground, we're going to have to make some adjustments. We're going to have to tighten up that seat. Yeah, we got to go through the whole thing again. Right. Just in case, you know. Just kind of go over all the bolts, make sure everything is nice and tight. And then we're going to test this sucker out. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely had give us meat over there. Yeah, much bigger pads, probably better for the Skyways too. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. So. How we did this the last time? We take some I know we didn't, we didn't, we're not taking out that black piece. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys, there's this black um, plastic piece. I don't know what it's for. Um, we thought it had to come out. It's not supposed to come out. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're leaving that in there <laughs> this time. <laughs> but we might have to make this 
tighter. Yeah. You know, I think this needs to be um, adjusted. Cause. Cause we're getting like, you know, it's, this is coming all the way to, all the way to the grip, right? Man, it's not really, I mean, it's pulling no. the brake, but it's not, it's not really grabbing it. Yeah. All righty. This is always the fun part, cause I don't know. It's adjusting that to see, right? The tension. Yeah. How that works with this. Do I need to loosen you up? I gotta watch the video on how to adjust these things. Well, definitely got more play on that side. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see what happens as I as you tighten that up. Right. The problem I think is the other side is not there's not a lot on the other side. It's not moving quite as much. Barely. It's not even moving at all now. I don't know, maybe Brian can give us uh, some good <laughs> advice on how best to adjust brakes like this. Right. We got a lot of movement on one side and not any movement on the other. And then you have kind of like these little screws that adjust the tension, right? Grab the brakes again. So we got, yeah. What'd you do? All you did is just push this? All I did was push them back. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, let me go All tighten right. up the pads real quick since I'm back here. I'm gonna do this guy real quick. Good. I look at this like that it looks so close but it's not yeah there's really? some space no there's some decent space between them it's very deceiving yeah yeah from here i think just because it's black and black look you're just like, not no? seeing any like it doesn't look like there's any space but yeah. you know you, you come from back here okay. and you can see yeah there's some space yeah so you're good cherry okay well, that's good that's good this one here i don't know if i gotta loosen this and center this Oh, because it's, why, there's more space on that side? Cause, yeah. Yeah. I see that. Like, you got more space on this side. Yeah. And then again, you try to look, the, the, the left side is not really moving. Yet. Yeah. I mean, this I haven't adjusted or Oh, my God, installed in forever. In, huh. yeah. But what, what about this? Is this just a cap? I think so. Or is that, does this, yeah, I think that just feels like it's just a cap. I don't yeah. think that does anything. Gosh, I haven't played But then this. you also have this, right? Can't this be an adjustment too? Yeah, that is like for... For, for the, for the, for the, the yeah. tension. So what I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stay loose. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go like this. Here, let me hold that. And then you're yeah. going to go and try to tighten them? Yeah. Oh, not that kind of hydraulic brake. Kind of similar to like a hydraulic brake, yeah? Hydraulic brake or a mountain bike style. Yeah. Should I go? Is it better? Yeah, I think it's better. I mean, one side is definitely pulling more than the other, but it's not as close. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. you go? Yeah, I think that goes. Yeah. That's good. And let's say to the... No. Okay. Is this All thing right. same thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice job. Talk about dog lock. Crescent wrench action it is. Does that look pretty straight? Yeah. Before I cinch them down. Wow. Oh, 
Um, Where do, do we, we want, want it? Do we want this centered? Because you see how, how the rails are all, all, all the way back here? Sometimes they... Oh, you, you want to push I mean? it? You want to push it? I mean, you... Well, right now... Is the seat moving? No. Like, you can sit on them and... Oh, no, it'll move. It does move. Like sure. this. We're going to tighten them a little bit more and then sit on them. Because I think the seat posts, I get them tight enough where they're not going to slide all the way down. Okay. And try to see if that feels comfortable. Okay, so we got the seat nice and tight. Seat post clamp nice and tight. Now we're going to just push the bars forward just a tad. Try. Um, no. And then I got one hand only because I got one hand on the camera, so I can't really use the handlebars to really push them that much. Yeah, still tight now. Just you waste it. No, some more. More? Yeah. Way more? Uh, is that, how's that? Is that too far? I don't know. What feel know. like Can to you? you? See? I don't know if it looks. Actually, look pretty damn straight. Type. That looks pretty straight. In fact, if you like, maybe a little bit more, but. No, try doing like that. It looks, if, if you look at them like this, look like too far forward. Yeah, from this way. But if you're looking at them like this. No. It's like. Pretty straight. Right okay. there. Yeah. Try crank them. It's almost uh, like deceiving like the brake pad. Oh, not bad. They even, whoa, see that? <laughs> Stay loose. Oh, the headset, yeah. Well, see, that was one thing we, we got to still do, that's why, huh? Yeah. Well, like they always say, people that do the unboxing of bicycles, you got to go through all of the bolts. Yeah. And double check. And plus, sometimes too, you just want to loosen it because the factory makes it so tight. Yeah. You know, like that back wheel was like, holy smoke, man. Yeah, they had like... Impact wrench on that sucker was... They had jam them. Okay, now you gotta make that straight now. Am I there? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and we can mess with this now. Piece of everything. Is that it? Yeah, real close. Dude, like just sitting on the bike right now. Yeah. It F doesn't feel that much different from a 26. No. It doesn't. I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked. I can see why maybe taller guys are like, yeah, the 24 is fine. Yeah. I mean, that's just first impressions without even just like pedaling it. But. Remember when I first started, I said, Kev, I think I'm going to do one for 24. Mm. You know, I don't know if I like one 24 or one 26, but I mean, jeez, it's like a good size. Mm -hmm. I kind of knew I wanted 24. Um, you know, just by riding your bike, your e-bike. Yeah, the Zoos is pretty nice size, yeah. Okay. All right, this, we got to get those guys a little lower. Lower? Yeah. See, this These is These are still too high. Hard as I for do them on the um, stand, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Put them where you like them. I think right there is good. Yep. What about that guy? Yeah, that's I gotta come down to. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
So that's good. That's good. That's, that's good. good. This is that. Oh, that's good. That's tight. All right. Seat posts. I think we did it. You made the seat yeah. post and the seat post clamp tight. Because I went from yeah. there forward, yeah? Yep. Okay, then. All right, try them out. Junk. You can be the first guy. No way. I got to empty my pockets. Be the first guy. Sorry. Leave the leave the um, mic in there, though. But you can be the first no guy way. to ride the 24. Oh, my. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, that thing looks good on you, man. Why did I not buy a 24, <laughs> dude? Seriously. Like wow. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like really no. small, yeah? No. Wow. I so want to wheelie this thing. <laughs> not yet. Now you got to you got a bike to practice on. Oh, bro. You got to ride this thing. Oh. Oh man. So the thing he go, that 24 yeah. <laughs> Beside your bus up hand. Behind my bra. I should have bought one like this. Yeah, I got it does not look How you like it them? does not feel that much different than a 26. Feel good, huh? Yeah. Bro, this this bike is sweet, yeah. I'm really surprised at. I mean, it doesn't feel that much smaller. No, it doesn't. It does you know, not at all. That it, <laughs> it really feels. The numbers are really deceiving, you know, 24, 26. Yeah. Because I think, like I was telling you earlier, the top two measurement, uh -huh. 22.5, it's the same on the 24 and the 26, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. So I'm wondering what the difference is in the frame sizes. I mean, of course, a 24 is going to have smaller wheels. Yeah. But I, what I want to know is what's the difference in the frame geometry between the 24 and the 26? Yeah. And I mean, we really, I don't know, un unless you get you know, the, the specs for them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to look them up. Not a lot, I mean, it is smaller. Like, you compare this to a 29, for sure. Yeah. It's not as as bigger as like a cruiser. Yeah. You know? Because my, yeah, my 29, that, that is a big bike. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Y your bike, your monster is a big bike, yeah. definitely. But this, I'm looking at you and it's like, like you said to me, it's, it, it doesn't look small on you. Yeah, it does not seem. It does not seem like a. I was thinking it was gonna be really small. Bro, that's a that's a sweet bike. I swear. Like I really thought it was gonna be, like cramped. Yeah. I really thought, and I don't know. It's. I'm surprised. Definitely, the laid back seat post is yeah is the way to go. I think. I think having a straight would be um, too small. I would think. be a little would would be cramped a little bit. All right, so <laughs> we kind of got carried away. <laughs> to dock already. <laughs> we we took this out on the road, and we're just amazed at um, how nice the bike rides for a smaller bike, right? I mean, yeah. what were your thoughts initially when you when you first I jumped should've, on? I should I should have flat out bound twenty four in the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, because you were on the fence on that. You were like, I should I get a 24 yeah. to a 26? I never know. 24 is a nice size for you. I like it too. It's a little, it's a little small, like, you know, but when I, when, when I jump on it, it just, it feels, it still feels really good. It's, I don't feel cramped. The bike does feel definitely smaller. We had to bust out the 26. We had to like bring that out and kind of like just compare it. We yeah. saw, we had a friend that lives down the street and he saw us riding and he was like, he whistled and was like, hey, he called us over. So brother Layton, um, <laughs> went to go and talk story with him and show him the bike. Yeah, and then now he's 
kind of sold and he kind of might want he might be picking up one um but yeah i mean love it like you know monza again they make really good stuff yeah. love the mags right yeah just the the mag wheels are awesome um i don't know i don't know what else i can say about the about this bike it's, it's fun to really, ride yeah it's yeah i wish had son yeah too bad we we shot this so late we can't even we you can't even see outside yeah um and we almost like forgot to film the closing because we, we were got just so excited yeah we were just like riding and talking and just you know yeah. comparing the two looking at the two bikes and Mazza, nice job thank you guys so much yeah, for you. for sending one over we are definitely going to put some other videos together where we compare the 24 and the 26 a, a lot more in depth to kind of show you the, the differences between you know the 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 frame length and, and, and the height and everything. We're gonna um, dissect this thing. Right? Yeah, for sure. So we'll definitely come out with some more videos if you're interested in, in what's the difference between the 24 and the 26. But for right now, man, it's 24. Solid, solid, solid. bike. Yeah. Sold. Sold. I'm gonna sell my two bikes. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> nah, joking. Why well, you guys take me? Well, we are gonna be riding these. You're gonna see us. If you see us out on the road, we definitely gonna be riding these a lot. Guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay, so you stuck around this long. Thank you so much. Thank we you. We appreciate you know all the support you guys are, are, are giving us, whether it's through Instagram messages. I'm getting almost every day like somebody sending me stuff, you know, on Instagram. I've been trying to reply to couple hey. Baby Very steps. good. Very good. Baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> so Baby you, steps, hey. What is your what is your um in, YouTube name? Is it the YouTube one? Yeah. I think I so put it under is, Bernie's Garage. Bernie's Garage. Or okay. as the guy. So I don't know. If you see comments on YouTube from Bernie, that's like seeing a unicorn. The yeah. brother just he's a lurker. You guys go to see watches. this on top yeah. as me. <laughs> He watches videos, he looks at stuff, but he doesn't really comment. So if you get a comment from Brad, yeah, Brad yeah. that's pretty special. Yeah, that means I, I'm not doing nothing that day. Like, but yeah, we just appreciate all the, all yeah, the support. Thanks, man. And you know, even people buying merch. Uh, we just got another order the cool. other day. You know, hey, these shirts shirt. is, bro, good job on the material. So, and this is the one that we had, I had another friend do this one. That, that is actually not the Brokanics one. No, it's not. I didn't even get that one yet. Okay. So that one I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get us a Shoot, couple of shirts shoots. of those. But yeah, if you guys are looking for some, we got a couple that are up on the website or up on this YouTube video. You can kind of take a look at our, at, at some of the shirts that we got available. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Yeah, so until then, take care of one another, be safe. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.